Hey everyone, I wanted to make this video to chat about what's next for this channel, what's next for my videos, and um, what well, my kind of plan is in 2020 to kind of produce content, what I'm going to produce, and kind of the schedule going forward. Um, so I'm sure people already know that I'm a PhD student, that's my day job. I don't bug bounty hunt full time, I bug bounty hunt occasionally, um, and I'm coming into the final year of my PhD now. Um, so what does that mean? I'm very stressed. <laughs> I I come back from work, I'm really tired. Um, so I'm actually not going to be able to do weekly videos because I just don't have the energy to produce them every week because they take a ton of time to do the research, a ton of time to put it together. Then I need to find specific times where I could record. I basically record on my lunch breaks every single, like when I work from home. So actually getting the time to record and go through the video productions like cycle is quite difficult for me um so with that in mind i'm changing the videos to be every other week and with occasional extra up extra videos between each upload basically uh, i'm not going to change the time it's going to remain on saturdays um i am slightly changing it. i'm giving it at 4 p.m uk time rather than 5 p.m um just because i'm usually somewhere near the computer at 4 p.m and 5 p.m i tend to be sorting out dinner so i can't really reply to you guys as comments and do all the other things associated with doing YouTube videos. Um, so I hope, I know that's going to be disappointing for a lot of people, um, but I really don't have the time to be doing the video production stuff, my PhD, and then also bug hunting, which is my hobby. <laughs> um, so with that in mind, video series are changing, uh, the video timescale is changing, um, but hopefully you'll still get videos every week. I just won't have to be forcing myself to be putting out the really not less so the other ones are less quality but the really like time intensive ones um all of the finding your first bug takes a long time because i have to do the research i sit i do maybe five hours of just adjusting the explanations a little bit and seeing what it looks like and then changing it um and especially once we go to see some of the other videos i'm going to be doing um, i'm going to be doing far more of um creating my own demos and create my own labs um to demonstrate to you guys so with that i really need more time per video and i just don't have enough time every week if it was my full-time job maybe if i also didn't want to do bug bounty hunting i might have the time but right now i really want to get stuck into being actually able to do some bug bounty hunting myself um so i hope you guys understand um the good news is is that the videos i will make won't be so rushed and they'll be really nice quality and i won't have to worry too much um so with that in mind, I wanted to kind of make a statement about channel focus. Um, and my focus will always be on beginner content because I feel like there's a lot of how to set up burp content. There's a lot of how to do this really specific hacking technique content. There's not a lot that breaks down complex stuff in a simple way. And that's really why I want to be sitting. If you want to make more advanced videos on, on techniques like ssrf or rcs i really want to be framing it as beginners so really breaking it down explaining it the best i can not just um sort of going oh yeah i assume you know everything but trying to really break it down as much as i can and i'm always gonna be talking about bugs like i'm i really want to be focusing this on you know practical applications not talking about theoretical um security but actually talking about real bugs that you can really find and we'll focus on, you know, techniques that will actually help you become a bug bounty hunter, not just, you know, pass an exam, right? I'm not I'm not going to ever go into kind of the um, certification content because I want to talk about bugs. I want this to be a bug bounty channel um, with the occasional educational video. Um so that's kind of where I want to focus my content, um, kind of going forward. So with that in mind, I want to talk about some new things I've been working on. So we are ending the finding your first bug. Um, and that's just because I want the series to have a distinct ending. So a beginner can look at that and go, I don't know what I'm doing. And it's like, oh, finding my first bug, I'll do that. Um, so they can literally just go down, find, watch all those videos. Um, and really understand sort of the beginner process of um, finding a bug. So from that, a lot of people want more advanced techniques because they really like the way I explain things. They really like how um, I, I, I produce my videos. 
and they want to see more advanced bugs and they want to know all about these like really like oh what about web cache pro poisoning what about um uh what about blind versions of other bugs what about uh sql injection what, what about all of these and i've always been reluctant to do tons of videos and that kind of thing because i really want my finding your first bug series to be for beginners so with that in mind i thought well I'll just make it a new series so the next series will be finding your next bug and it's going to all be about building on the lessons learned from the finding your first bug series so you know if finding your first bug is introducing you to what an api is and how you can hack an api and the kind of very basics of it the finding your next bug might say okay and here's specifically graphql injection or here's specifically api injection uh using api to do an sql injection that kind of level of now you know this we can do that or like in this case this uh cross-site scripting to blind cross-site scripting so you you're kind of building on what you've already learned with me on uh with new techniques and with this i'll probably be introducing more techniques you know a lot of people are really interested in web cache poisoning um some of the newer security techniques so that will all be covered in this video if my finding your first bug series is for beginners this will be beginner to intermediate in the sense that i will assume you already know a lot of the basics um not that your first bug can't be a more intermediate bug some people's are um it's just that i'll just assume you know more that's the kind of difference between the two will be i assume you know the basics i'm now going to go into something more advanced um so that's the first thing so that's going to be all about um building on what you've already learned already if you have like stuff you really want to know about anything would fit quite well please do send me a message send me a tweet um i of course read everything a lot of youtubers say that i really do read everything um so that that would i hope you guys will really enjoy and really find very useful um so ooh, whoops skipped one so the next thing is really a full series on burp um so i made a burp video a while ago where i didn't really know what i was doing i admit that i admit fully that i don't know what i'm doing most of the time um and because i didn't really know what i was doing i didn't record it properly basically and it's always been a video i've wanted to re-record and re-record and re-record um but actually the more that i've used but i made that when i'd got like two bugs <laughs> two more bugs maybe i don't know if i did that before or after vegas not sure it was after um either way uh i think it will be really good to have like a full-on but for beginners series all about you know should i buy community or profession like should i invest in professional editions should you know how do i do use certain plugins how can i really up amp up my burp knowledge um i'm really starting from beginners here's what every tab does to really talking about okay what add-ons do i need how should i organize my workflow etc etc um and i really hope this will answer some of the questions i get on you know should i buy professional edition or how do i do this and this video looks terrible <laughs> um uh and that does mean that original video will be re-recorded it's on the list of things to do i will i will re-record it um but yeah so that's the that's the burp for beginners um i h hope this is going to be useful i know some people prefer owasp zap i personally don't use it so i won't have owasp zap on my channel but i will have burp and uh, i hope that you guys really like enjoy that series um right now it's going to be kind of the next main focus that i do because i really want to record oh, we record that really bad video um so that'll be out probably like after this video um so then i think a lot of people ask me this a recon series so i don't really do recon my version of bug hunting is kind of chaotic <laughs> i just do um i just click pressing the buttons and then that's my version of bug hunting it's very unorganized um so something i really want to do this year and like my own bug hunting is really learn how to do it properly <laughs> um there's a few um recon things i know how to do like i know kind of the general basics of but i really want to up my skill that i really want to be looking at new ways to um do recon new ways to kind of use recon in my own 
something really about my own like bug bounty practice um so with that since i'm basically i'm like you guys i'm going from zero to like whatever um i really wanted to build what i'm learning when i learn about recon um and then produce some videos that essentially like here's me learning how to do recon it's hard <laughs> and i really hope you guys will see some value in that in seeing like i will know i'll be in you your shoes i won't know what i'm really doing um and i will be making videos and kind of really learning along with you and i think that might be very powerful that's not going to come out until a little bit later on in the year because i actually have to learn how to do recon first uh it's one of the reasons i'm partly moving to uh do kind of the change in video pace so i can actually learn more because i'm i like i'm really an advanced beginner if you like um i really don't know what i'm doing uh the videos that i've done are really you know what i know um, and when I reach the edge of my knowledge, I need to learn more. And I have, I learned like a ton. I didn't know about CSRF until uh, uh, a few months ago, like three or four months. Uh, and I've really learned how to use it in the time frame. So yeah, there'll be a API enumeration video, but there'll be a, like a bunch of other ones. We'll do some Google dorking stuff. We'll talk about subdomains. We'll talk about why you do recon, what the end goal is, and then really how to use your recon data to actually do something interesting. Like, what's the point of all of this? Um, so this is sort of, I'm sure this video is coming, coming out after this video. Um, one of the other videos is really going to be bug in focus. So bug in focus is going to be taking advanced um, techniques. So in this case, this is a remote code execution. Um, that really beginners aren't suitable for a first bug or a next bug. It's really just a advanced bug for like really, really important like really hackers that have been hacking for years but there's some real value in understanding more difficult content even if you don't 100% get it it can be really powerful to at least try so with that in mind the bug in focus series is going to be taking a hard bug like RCEs and breaking them down and being like okay so to do an RCE you need to do x y and z are you going to really be able to do X, Y, and Z? No, maybe not. But you know what? It will introduce you to the ideas. Part of being a great hacker is being able to synthesize ideas from other people to take those ideas that other people have done and build upon them in your own kind of um, way of working. And I've always said, I've said in my resource list video that I really want to be, for you guys to be exposing yourself like knowledge by exposure and even though it's difficult and you're not necessarily an expert in it being able to kind of say you know what i don't know how to get an rc i probably won't get an rc but you know what? i know a little bit about what they are or i can see how other people might find them and that's really what the bug in focus series also like sharing some really cool bugs we all love like really interesting bugs so by the way the chat the little icon is supposed to be a uh binoculars pair of binoculars doesn't really look right much debate was had whether or not that looked good <laughs> um so what about other future videos um so i have some requests actually for people who found specific bugs that they find kind of confusing and i think i might do kind of off videos about breaking them down and really being like oh okay so if you have um you know this this bu bug was done like this this and this they'll be much much shorter than my like big long uh videos but just breaking down a specific bug and i will take requests for that um the next one will be creating a CTF. so i really want to create a ctf that is suitable for bug bounty hunting not for learning security like i want a ctf that has one eye door in it <laughs> um so really difficult really challenging but i'm really hoping to get that kind of done and finally, um, I want to do demos on specific bugs. Like, there's quite a lot in the like the IDOR video that I really want to talk about more, but I didn't want to make that video even longer than it already was. Um, so, uh, one thing I really want to do is kind of do IDOR hunting demo and do an entire demo talking about how to hunt for IDORs, um, as well as talking about, you know, maybe doing some automation stuff so that's another kind of future video that i want to make um so that's it really this is a quite a short video just explaining what i want to do next with this channel 
Um, thank you so much for watching. You have no idea. There's so many of you. I get so many nice messages and so many people tell me they love their videos. It's honestly so bloody overwhelming. <laughs> um, and I'm really happy that you guys have decided to stick around and listen and watch and do all of that stuff. Honestly, I'm completely flattered. Um, and I really hope that you choose to stick around even longer. Um, I'm going to carry on posting. I'm going to try and build up the channel. I've already got like 3k subscribers. There's 3,000 of you. It's it's crazy. And then I look at the views on each of my videos. It's like, whoa. <laughs> Whew, there's a lot of people here. So honestly, thank you very much for watching. I really do like... I'm so just overwhelmed with how many of you like really enjoy the videos how many of you really sent me such nice messages and i don't really know how to use the, the youtube analytics but they look good there's a lot of pluses <laughs> in there um i've got a few questions about monetizing my videos i'm probably not going to monetize any of my videos and that's simply because um i don't think I should, <laughs> basically. So if you had ad block on my videos, please continue to have it on. Ads are horrible. Um, I'm not going to take any sponsorships because I don't want to shill pe other people's shit. The only thing I shill is Hacker One because <laughs> they're so nice to me. <laughs> um, so thank you very much for watching this kind of little what next video. Um, and thank you very much for watching all of my videos. Uh, I hope that you find these next few videos super interesting, super useful. Um, and I hope you're really excited for the future because I am. So good day out. Bye, everybody.